Okay guys and welcome back. So as our presentation is starting to take shape, we have three slides so far. Now on our fourth slide, let me just close that. What we want on our fourth slide is the, uh, let's have a look, we want this data here, we want this, we want this and we want this. So we want this up the top left, this underneath it and this is a nice big image on the right. Now we already have the code for adding a chart which was this one here. So really all we need to do is change the name of this chart, profit by day, whatever that was, to the name of this which was pie chart. So in true fashion, just like we've done before, we're going to now say slide 4. And now we're going to copy all of slide 3. Hey, that was too fast. And we're going to copy all of slide 3's code. So from here, use the arrow keys, Alan. That's going to be much easier to control. And copy. And come up here. Hit a few lines. And then we're going to be working on this code again. But we're going to call this slide 4. And we're going to change the index number. That saves us having to remember everything. But again, we're going to use this uh, exactly the same layout. We'll delete the text box at the end. Uh, so let's just split this up. So at the top, we're dealing with the, the title. Uh, so now we actually want to say uh, this is the key performance data, isn't it? So rather than saying that, we're going to say uh, this is the key performance data. Whoops, capital. So that sorts out our title. This is our bitmap. Now we did say that this is going to be a pie chart. Uh, I think it was actually called pie chart, wasn't it? Uh, let me just flip back to Excel. Click that. Uh, yeah, it's actually called pie chart. I don't know if that makes a difference if it's not in the correct case or I'll just correct the case. So there we have most of what we need. We have our title, we have our image. We're probably going to have to play around with where it appears, but we have our image. So the next thing we want to do is we want to, let me just shrink that down a little bit if I can grab hold of uh, VBE. Let's have a look. There we go. Uh, next thing we want to do is add these two pivot tables here. Uh, but what we want to do is add them as an image. And I'm sure in our base code we have a bit of code that does that. So again I'm coming down to the base code, down to images. Here we go. Paste a range as a bitmap. So we're going to copy that code and we're going to whiz way back up to the top. Now what we're going to do first is we're just going to drop them on there then we're going to position them manually so we uh, we can get them exactly where we want and then we'll come back and modify the code to do that programmatically so add uh, first uh, what's that? It's a pivot table isn't it? Add first pivot table and we can rem out that or unrem that and unrem that. So here we have range A23 to B30. Uh, so what we could actually do is say A23 current region, couldn't we? So let's just say A23, delete all that, uh, dot current region. Obviously, if you want to specify it specifically, you, you can say, whoops, okay, shush. Uh, what you can say, uh, I have a, a space, one too many space in there. What you can say if you do just want to display A3 through to, for argument's sake, B, whatever that is, 27, just say A3 to B27. But we're just going to, we want to capture the entire region there. So that's our first pivot table, range A23, current region, copy picture, blah, 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 and paste. And we may as well just copy that code directly, give ourselves a bit of room, and paste our second pivot. So paste our second pivot. And this is going to be this one here. So what are we in? We are in D23. So this is going to be D23 current region select. And that's going to give us our pie chart. Now these are all going to drop right on top of each other, I imagine. But we'll run it and then we'll modify the code. So here we go. Enter presentations. <laughs> Enter presenter's name. Can't even type my own name. Bum 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 bump. So here we go. Slide one, slide two, slide three, and slide four. So there is our image. And I'm guessing the other things, yeah, the other things are underneath it. So let's just put these exactly where we want them to be. So let's say uh, line that up with. Uh, there, that that looks okay, and let's have that. Yeah, let's 
let's have that there. No, let's have that up here. That looks terrible. Put them wherever you think it looks good. Uh, and this, um, I'm going to resize that so it's just a little bit larger, say that big. Okay, so now we have this looking exactly as we want. Uh, so now what we need to do is learn where these things are positioned. So what we're going to do is right click the pivot table come to format picture and that's going to bring up this here we're going to come to this the size and properties uh, we're not worried about the size but we are worried about the position so let me just bring this back over here so here we go now we can see uh, the PowerPoint below it so we're working on the first pivot table we need to know how to position that so let's uh, let's whiz down here and find out that positioning images thing uh, images 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 paste 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 resizing positioning we're not using the centery things we use now that's to align and that's what we want to do this is the code here so align an image using points and that is precisely what we want to do so I'm just going to copy that is all the way back up to slide four which is here is this slide four's code yep slide four and we're working on the first pivot here so let's just paste that code in there i told you this was like lego didn't i uh so here we go we are going to be aligning so i can unrem this i can unrem this now because we've just literally pasted this it is the active window selection because we're already working on it and what we want from the top left corner that's the top left corner we want 2.33 so we're going to say 2.33 times our centimeters again oops uh, yeah that's uh, yeah 2.3 times centimeters and the top the vertical position is 5.13 centimeters oops let me just bring that back so that's 5.13 multiplied by centimeters and that will position our first pivot table so that's how we've done the first one now what we're going to do just copy that code come underneath the second pivot table and paste that code underneath now this time we want to click here and we want to have a look at the position of that and again that's horizontal 2.33 but it's 10.95 from the top so uh, 2.33 can stay but now we want to change that to 10.95 so 10.95 fantastic and here uh, we want to do the same thing we want to do the same thing with that chart so uh, and we resize the chart as well didn't we so let's let's resize first position second so here we are looking at this particular object uh, and we have a shape range height uh, where are we and we have a, a shape range height of 12.69 so here uh, 12.69 we're not going to center it using the uh, the method we used before we're going to copy this because we want to do it by points so there we go and so here we can come to our position and it's 9.1 so we'll change that there to 9.1 by centimeters and it's 9.1 by 5.13 okay okay so I've just closed PowerPoint down so let's uh, let's run through that code and see if that does what we think it should do so there we go enter presenter's name Alan bump and here we go let's have a look okay so there you go that that's uh, the beginning of our slideshow we have the first slide second slide third slide fourth slide and lastly we want to do this thank you any questions slide that you always see at the end of PowerPoint presentations so I'll see you in the next lecture